Hello everyone, it's Pat at Beads and Plenty More and today I'm going to talk about making necklaces with front closures. Now a front closure is so much handier for doing up your necklace so that's the main reason for it but the one thing about it if you're going to put a, a clasp it needs to have something to decorate it a little bit otherwise it just looks like your necklace has swung around to the front. So what I've done is I've made a little dangle or a, like a tassel with a piece of, th of uh, coarse heavy chain and then I've added various uh, other beads to it to make a fancy little tassel and that's going to hang beside the clasp and that way it'll offset the weight of the clasp. So go ahead in here with my two seed be or two crimp beads and I'm going to put uh, a wire guardian on here so that that protects our, our wire from too much rubbing. So I go up through and around and down the other side with the wire guardian. There we are. And I might have to open that up just a little bit because the, the uh, loop on my toggle clasp here is fairly thick. Let's see whether that'll go in. Oh yeah, there we go. So now when you work with a, a wire guardian, we want to just take the pliers after we've got it set up like that and just close that up nice and tidy. Just give it a, a squeeze from either top or bottom. There we are. So that it looks like that. Now back with my crimp beads and we'll just feed those into the whole unit here. Get it nice and snug. Make sure they're lying nice and flat. And again with my chain nose plier I'm going to go in and give those a good hard crimp. There we go. So that would be the one side and we're just going to stretch that wire down so that everything's tidy. Feed that into my beads and pull up here. Now whenever you're working with your uh, jewelry you always want to be sure that you curve your your piece as well so that um, when you're uh, finished you're going to have a nice soft curve and not a harsh um, straight out piece that isn't going to look nice. So I've cut my wire off. I did use gold wire here. I wanted to mention that as well. Gold uh, tiger wire. Beetle on size 0 0.015. It's, um, I don't use gold all that often but since the color of, of my beads that I was using it seemed to work a little better with to coordinate. So down with the crimp beads and again working with our little wire guardian up and down. Straighten that up and this side time we're going to put the other side of the toggle on. And now this side is a little more complicated because you always have to snug everything up. So we'll just get those going in there and bring it out a couple of beads down the way. There we are. Snug that up. And once again, I'm going to go and make sure I've got that pulled tight around the wire guardian. And then go in and squeeze that wire guardian closed. There we are. So now I like to sometimes use my chain nose pliers just to snug everything up because it can get a little tighter pull than I can do with my fingers. And it's not nice if you've got that little bit of wire gap in your work. So there I've got that nice and snug. We'll go in and both crimps at the same time and give them a crimp. And then I go in and tip, trim off that excess wire. Now the uh, uh, little chain tassel that I made, I used this coarse chain and I used head pins to attach everything. So you can see on the um, pearl here, you can see the head pin. That's what, and then you cut it off and loop it around the chain. Now, one thing I discovered with chain that, that links opposite like that, I had to be sure I had the right link to hook on because otherwise it would uh, make it uh, not hang properly. So I uh, had to uh, check the links as to how they sat. So this chain is very nice because it opens. So we will open up the link 
Ooh, a little bit stiff there. Give it a twist like that. And I'm going to hook it in beside the uh, clasp here. And then we'll close this back up. Sometimes you can hook into the actual circle of, of the clasp, but in this case, this wire was, or this chain that uh, I'm using is just a little bit too thick to go into the uh, hole that's, that the um, toggle clasp has. So there, as we can see that, that uh, this toggle will sit off side a little bit so that the bar will hold nice and firm when you're wearing it. And then the little toggle, uh, little uh, chain tassel decorates it up nicely. And uh, that's what we can do to make a, a front closure. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.